Theater is a lot of different things to a lot of different people. To some, it's a beautiful display of art and expression, while to others, it's a place to learn and showcase their talents. Something most people don't expect, however, is when I tell them that theater actually taught me how to empathize. Throughout my life, I've tried many different things and learned many skills. From karate to theater to speed cubing, I've been around the block. And while I might know more about algorithms and roundhouse kicks than the average person, I've found that if you go beneath the surface, there's a lot more to learn from activities like these. All these different perspectives have made the people in my life easier for me to understand. I was really into martial arts or karate uh, when I was younger. And the first thing they teach you on your first day is to treat both your instructors and your peers with respect. My first teacher was a dude named Mr. G. Not only was he the best Pokemon Go player I've ever met, seriously, I was so jealous, he had like five Charizards, but he was also the most hardworking and dangerous person you'll get in the ring. My second teacher, Miss Everett, was a no-nonsense woman with a sense of humor. She could walk into the loudest room in the world and it would go completely silent. She is definitely the scariest person I know, but also the most fun. Karate showed me how to treat the people who you look up to and also to appreciate what they've done in their lives. Now, when you're holding a plank position or sparring in a ring with someone, you start to think about how hard or impossible what you're doing is. To climb the ranks in martial arts, you just have to grit your teeth and keep fighting, even if you're sweaty and tired. On your birthday at my karate school, the entire class would line up with you in a big, long line, and you'd have to spar with each of them, one after the other. To be honest, I'm not really sure what happened when it was my turn, but I do know that I was sweaty, I was tired, I've been working for 10 minutes, and I got the most rewarding feeling. Karate showed me that to be truly good at something, you have to have a good and strong mindset. These experiences also taught me that it's important to relate to the feelings and physical state of others, because everybody has challenges. A couple summers back, I decided I wanted to learn how to solve a Rubik's Cube after finding one at my grandma's house. So I taught myself how over the course of the summer and eventually competed in a couple tournaments. Speed cubing is the name for solving a Rubik's Cube as quickly as possible, usually in a competitive setting. Can I have everybody in the audience right now who solved a Rubik's Cube in their life raise their hand? Okay, we got a couple. A couple liars, I think, over there. Um, but, but I think we can mostly agree that solving a Rubik's Cube is no small feat. Speaking from experience, you have to memorize countless algorithms, you have to know the cube like the back of your hand, and you have to have an insane amount of patience. I met a guy my age at one of the tournaments I went to in South Dakota that had the coolest Rubik's Cube I'd ever seen, but he was struggling solving it because it was a different cube than he was used to, it was a different method than he was used to, but I could tell that both he and everyone around me was devoted and committed to getting better, which is something that really inspired me. With the help of me and some of my friends, he was able to solve it and competed in the tournament. This showed me how noticing someone having trouble and helping them is a net positive for both you and them. So, how does one accomplish the tough task of solving a Rubik's Cube? Well, there are a couple algorithms and patterns and other nerdy things like that that you need to memorize. In the end, it all just comes down to practice. Every day over the summer of 2018, I would practice solving the cube, scrambling, lowering my time, and doing it all over again. It all paid off when I solved a cube in under 25 seconds at a tournament in Apple Valley. These experiences showed me <laughs> that practicing gives you the power to do anything, including Solving a Rubik's Cube live at a TEDx event. Thank you, thank you. Most recently, though, I've been involved in a lot of my school's theater productions, and I'm working on my singing and acting skills. I didn't start out this confident, though. When I got to my first audition in sixth grade, I started getting teary. I started crying because I wasn't sure if I'd be good enough or if I'd fit in. But I soon realized that theater is one of the most rewarding and accepting communities there are. And ever since, I've done my best to make anything that I'm a part of seem like something worth trying. And to add to the positive environment, I was so relieved to realize theater is. I've been interested in musical theater since the beginning of middle school. And I've played all kinds of different characters, from an elderly major general to a boy my age 
to a French chef. When you're cast in the role of any character, you have to try to immerse yourself in their feelings and emotions to truly bring out their unique personality traits and characteristics. I did my best to become the characters I was playing throughout middle school, and I've continued with theater in high school and am now in the school's musical currently, and I'm really enjoying it. Um, theater showed me that relating to the feelings of another is one of the most important things that you can learn. So all of my adventures have taught me something new, and I believe that being curious and bold unlocks opportunities to learn more about yourself and to discover things you're passionate about. Empathy is something that takes a lifetime to master, but it's also just as easy as noticing someone having trouble at the park, at school, having a bad day at work, anywhere at all, and just doing something to make them smile. And if they're having a great day, celebrate with them. The beauty of theater is that it's one of the only ways to step out of your life and access another person's worldview, to see why they did something, because of their race, their gender, where they're from. Theater, karate, and speed cubing all brought out my unique talents and not only made me more proud and confident in myself, but also taught me to be more aware and conscious of the worlds I'm not a part of, thanks to empathy. Thank you so much.